somewhere and you have a sense of where you know you know where you're going, but you're not too sure. Yes. I don't want to be like that in God. I always want to know where I'm headed. And in this case, I want to know whether I'm going to heaven or hell. <laughs> what do you want to know? Amen. Some say, well, I, I don't know. Well, give it time. I guarantee you to clear up. Now, as you know, the closing year meeting is approaching. We're going to ask that nobody go in the main auditorium. They're trying to finish up up there. So certain stairways are blocked off. All rehearsals of any kind will take place down here. Uh, let us bear in mind that um, why well, it comes to mind on Tuesday. Tuesday night, we have some more pews to bring in to finish up the pulpit. It really looks good up there. Uh, so we're going to ask some brothers keep in mind. we we'll get your cloths and we'll clean them up before we bring them in. And then our work crew will get them tied down to the floor in the pulpit. That way, them are, that are unrighteous and can get shot and them that are righteous can get shot. Now to you next year, oh, let me say this while I come to mind. To my traveling staff, I'm going to try to meet with you about 3.30 today. Some changes I want to make for 2024 and some amendments that I want to make. To you that have been reaching out to us to, from the country of Dubai, I pray God next year I get there. Haven't been there to Dubai to visit the saints yet, but next year I hope I'm able to make it. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. God willing, we plan on making it to you next year. Harlem, New York. God be my help, we plan on stopping in Harlem. I've been wanting to get in Harlem for quite some time. Pine Bush, New York Temple. We'll be dedicating next year of a new temple in Pine Bush, New York. God be our helper. <laughs> Washington, D.C. I've been there once. Uh, well, I've been there many times, but once recently. We'll be baptized over 220-something souls in two days. So we have a congregation already waiting. Yeah. God willing, we'll be back, make an early stop in Washington, and make an early stop in Richmond. I heard you out there in Denver, Colorado, they was laying me out over the webcast. Why you talk about every place other than Denver? All right. God willing, I'll be in Denver, Colorado, to work on you also, and Indianapolis, Indiana. We have a lot of South Midwestern areas to go in because we have members literally in every state of this country. There are truth of God followers in every state of the country. That's a blessing. Glad to see Williams making it out. You pray for him. He's not feeling too well. So he's pressing his way. He looked like he's pressing his way. <laughs> so God willing, we'll be rolling through many parts of America. Next year, our European conference will be in Berlin, Germany. So I do hope and pray that many of you make plans to be in Berlin for the first time. Next year, God willing, if everything go well, we'll be dedicating our new temple in Canada. They're holding service in the downstairs auditorium, the main auditorium. They're trying to finish up, so God willing, we'll be in Ontario, Canada, dedicating it. And God willing, I plan on making some other stops through Canada. I don't have enough time in a year 
to go where I need to go. Once I leave Berlin, Germany, I'll be flying straight to Mozambique, Africa for the convention there. After I leave Mozambique, I'll be flying to Malawi, Africa for the convention there, and then I'll come home and I don't know where I'll be in September. But I do know I'll be catching up on some rest. Amen. Because one thing about this job, it'll take a lot out of you. We've been traveling consistently for 40 years. And to see what God been doing these 40 years is a blessing. All right, let me get these baptisms in the way and out the way. God willing, then we'll go to work. 14 in headquarters. I believe this is a one week's report. 14 in headquarters, one in Bronx, New York, one in Baltimore, one in Raleigh, one in Florence, South Carolina, 15 in Atlanta, Georgia, five in Orlando, 13 in Memphis, two in Monroe, two in Lafayette, two in Houston, two in San Antonio, Texas, 11 in Dallas, one in Federal Way, Washington, one in Minnesota, 11 in Detroit, two in Bangla Bangalore, India, four in Nubia, that's Africa, one in Nigeria, nine in Cape Town, South Africa, nine in Johannesburg, that's 13 in Malawi, one in the Netherlands, 125 souls in one week. So that's a blessing. So as the work of God continues to expand, there are so many areas where we have to go. Philippines, and Bangladesh, Cook Islands, and Singapore. So many areas where the word of God have gathered the souls. We have about 10 more churches that want to walk with the truth now out of Nigeria. Wow. Yeah. Amen. I'm not the type of preacher that like to sit and look and watch. I have to physically see what's going on. It takes a toll on us, but the apostle said, this will I do if God permit. Mexico, God willing, next year we plan on being in Mexico. Next year we plan on being in Anchorage, Alaska. And uh, to go to these places, it's a lot of sacrifice and wear and tear. We don't go to a few states and make one or two islands stop somewhere and then tell the people we're traveling all over the world. What kind of fool talk is that? But we're reaching men and women all over. They're crying out for baptisms all over. We're sending men, and some complain when I send them. But I can't be there. I can't be everywhere. I'm not God. God can be everywhere. If I was everywhere, then my Lord. There would be such terror. I was laying on the false prophets. I want to work on false prophecies today. And I'm pretty sure there's many that are here and that are watching can identify somebody been prophesied to and it wasn't nothing to it. Give me first Peter Chapter 4, let's start there. 
First Peter chapter four. You turn Williams up now because he's not feeling good, and I don't want him to have to strain. You can give him a lot of juice, and you can boost my big mouth up as also. Amen. All right. First Peter four eleven. I believe that's what I want. That's what you want, Pastor. All right. Let's have it. First Peter chapter four and at verse eleven. Yes. If any man speak, glory to God. If any man speak, let him speak. Let him speak as the oracles of God. As the oracles of God. If any man minister, if any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth. God's oracles. That's it. What is oracles? When the Spirit of God speak. The oracle will be that which stands between the spirit and the people. That's right. God speak through that oracle that he may relate it to the people. That's it. In this case, it's the scriptures. Mm -hmm. The oracles, oracles that got the prophets That's right. and that got the apostles. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. Oracle, singular, is equal to mediator. Mm -hmm. That which stand between God and man, and God speak through the mediator to get to the people. That's right. But when you say oracles, oracles. plural, that got all the holy prophets. That's right. That got all the holy apostles. Mm -hmm. So God used the scriptures to talk to us until the apostle Paul said, God make manifest his word through preaching. Through preaching. Through preaching. Nobody's preaching, get me, <laughs> unless he preached the word. That's right. And he's anointed to preach the word. That's right. <clears throat> Otherwise in that, it's a boring <laughs> lecture That's all. of hollering, screaming, noise, noise, no anointing. And if there's no anointing, he's not being used of God. That's right. He's just telling you what he remember. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Do you hear the son of man talking? In St. Luke chapter 4 and at verse 18. The spirit of the Lord. Of the Lord is upon me. You see, the Spirit of God was upon the Son of God, showing you the example how the Spirit of God must be upon the church. That's right. Son of God was a body, many members, one body. God's church had many members, one people, one body, one church. That's it. Listen. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Yes. Because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel uh -huh. to the poor. To the poor. He hath sent me to heal the broken yeah, heart. Yeah. That poor is twofold. To the poor. Them that don't have much. Mm -hmm. And them that are poor in the spirit to build them up. That's right. What else? He hath sent me to heal the broken heart. Heal them. To preach yeah, the yeah. Wait just a minute now. Mm -hmm. You don't sound like you're all that sick. <laughs> Heal them. That's it. You know, many folks' heart is broken. Jesus said, broken. let not your heart be troubled. That's right. If you believe in God. Hallelujah. Thank God believe also in me. Right there, the carnal mind said, you see there? That's two of them right there. No, that's two natures. Two natures. Believe in God, believe in the Spirit. That's it. Believe also in me, believe in the Son of Man. That's it. Because he said, no man come to the Father, but by me. By me. That's right. Do you see how plain it is? That's right. Get this now. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted. You know, heal means to deliver. <clears throat> Everybody heart, some way, somehow. Need deliverance from something. Oh, yes. Because there was some kind of experience 
that affect your heart oh, yes. for the worse. Amen. And nobody can heal your heart like God can. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. Hear me, God? He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Now God make a preacher. God gives the preacher healing message. That's right. This is my medicine chest here. Oh, yes. Bind up your heart. Wrap it up. Yes. Heal it. Healing also means deliverance. That's right. So somewhere within your emotional state of being, you need deliverance, freedom, healing. Are you listening? That's right. I want to take it apart, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. He had sent me to heal the broken heart. You've got to be sent to Sick. heal broken hearted people. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. That's right. Everybody Hallelujah. don't have the know how. Hallelujah. Let's bring it down to the natural. You know, when you do heart surgery, the heart surgeon is not an ankle surgeon. Not a hand surgeon. He's a heart specialist. That's right. Sometimes the heart specialist wear a light on his head so he can look at the place and get a brighter perspective. He don't want to work in the dark because he's working on something delicate. That's right. You have to know how to handle the heart because it's a lot of sensitivity there. That's, right. That's where the emotions lie. He can't handle the emotions, but he can handle the muscle. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. When he cut, he never touched the emotions. Right. Glory to God, but when he cut, he can cut the muscle. That's right. He can unclog the artery. Yeah. Many preachers lack biblical Surgical skill. That's right. Because this is a two-edged sword. Oh, yes. And you must know how to handle the heart, the mind, the body, the soul, these delicate things rightfully. That's right. If you're not sent, then you must go to medical school. <laughs> That's right. And be taught by a chief surgeon how to handle God's people. That's right. It's more than standing up here quoting from the Bible. Oh, yes. There's hearts. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hearts being handled. That's right. Mind being handled. Soul being handled. That's right. Subconscious thoughts being handled. That's right. So you have to be taught line upon line. Yes. Yeah. Glory, hallelujah. hallelujah, glory to God. Precept upon hallelujah. precept. So the preacher, like the chief surgeon, yeah. who wears the light on the head. Yeah. The preacher have to have the light of God. That's right. Not on the head, but in the head. That's right. So he can see clearly. Because everybody, heart, glory to God, differs, differs from the other. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Come on, son. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Heal them. To deliver them. Mm -hmm. Free them. That's it. Some people is in an emotional trap. Yeah. Don't want to let go. <clears throat> Don't know how to let go. But when the word of God start cutting there, yeah. the word of God come to cut and remove out of the heart which hinders the soul. That's right. Did you hear what I just said? That's right. <laughs> to better understand it, if the arteries are clogged to the heart, mm -hmm. sometimes it hinders the full operation of the body. That's true. Are you listening? That's true. 
If your heart is emotionally cluttered with junk, Amen. it hinders the full function, the full operation of the soul, temple, body, tabernacle, earthly house. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Come on, son. Let's have it here. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted. To preach deliverance to the captives. Preach freedom. Amen. To them that are in bondage. And recovering of sight to the blind. And give people understanding. That's it. Did you get me? That's it. See, when you give sight to the blind, <laughs> that's twofold. Amen. God can open your blinded eyes naturally but when you're brought out of darkness, darkness and to the marvelous light of the gospel he gave insight to the blind he gave vision to them that are mentally blind that's right are you listening that's right let's add it and recovering of sight to the blind yes to set at liberty them that are bruised <laughs> now many of us was Bruised, bruised by some lying prophet. That's right. Some lying prophet. Am I right, I said? That's right. <laughs> now, viewers, I want you to get this and you that are here. Mm -hmm. Prophecy that come from God, it just have to come to pass. Have to. Now, one word will fall to the ground. That's right. I said not one. That's right. Because God can't lie. No. When God said something, it doesn't matter who come after God. That's right. God's word will stand forever. That's right. And ever. So shall my word be. Hear, hear this. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, and at verse 11. I want to take my time and soak you good. <laughs> Amen. All right. Isaiah 55, and at verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. So shall my word. My word. Amen. So shall my word be that, that goeth, goeth forth out of my mouth. Not our mouths. Out of my mouth. All I need is one God to talk here. That's right. That's right. Did you hear this? So, so shall, shall my word be. My word be. That goeth forth out of my mouth. That come out of my mouth. It shall not it return shall unto me void. Not turn unto me void, but what? But it shall accomplish. That which I please. Do, do you hear this? And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Now, who are you going to believe? <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's why I'm so confident this afternoon. Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. Not feeling the best, but they haven't touched my confidence. Amen. Amen. God word. It's sure, sure, certain. This is how you can tell. Give me uh, Lamentations 3.37. Lamentations chapter 3 and verse 37. There, I believe that's what I want there. I want to break this up so good <laughs> until I send the false prophets on the run. On the run. <laughs> that's right. Got them ducking and hiding. Hear me good now. I don't care if the preacher baptized you right. That's right. I don't care if he had the Holy Ghost as some of you. That's right. Listen at what the prophet about to say here. Lamentations chapter 3 and verse 37. What is it, Will? Who is he that Who saith? Who is he that saith? And it cometh to pass. And it happens. When the Lord. When the Lord. Commandeth it not. He ain't said nothing. That's right. That's right. Who's talking through you? Who? I don't care how much you shake and go in some tongue. If you're doing Indian rain, dan rain dance and the clouds form all around your ankles. <laughs> Amen. The Lord ain't said nothing, ain't paying you no mind. That's right. 
viewers, get this. Many people prophesy out of feeling. Right. Hatred, anger, or try to put fear upon you. That's right. I believe when I got sick with pneumonia before I went to Europe for the first combined European conference, which was uh, September of this year, I think I got pneumonia in the summertime. July, I think it was. Mm -hmm. Or June. <laughs> Word got to me that a false apostle, <laughs> you know, because they put it on the internet, they, all, they, they always make it extreme with me. Extreme. <laughs> That's right. He's gravely ill. He's about to die. Look at your watches and count down. <laughs> my Lord, my Lord. All type of fake pictures. My Lord. So I was told some phony fraud <laughs> apostle heard that I was ill mm. and he told the people that the Lord told him mm. that Pastor Gino <laughs> Nicolius Jennings will never, ever preach again. My <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Ask that devil so far out of hell. What was that? Wishful thinking. Wishful thinking. Some men prophesy out of hatred. And like my brother, Brother Joseph just said, jealousy. jealousy. They do. That's yeah. true. They are jealous of your success. They are jealous of what is happening. So therefore, they prophesy to people to try to make themselves look more spiritual than you, but yet you're not competing with them. That's right. You fellas prophesying. Listen, let me make this clear. I don't even care you exist. <laughs> That's right. This is how little I think of you. Think of you. That's right. I respect the ants <laughs> that make a hill. And labor in the summer. Amen. I, 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 don't even, I don't even regard you at all. That's right. I'd rather look at a clown juggle. Amen. Think of it. Amen. Imagine I got it in for Kev so bad. My Lord. Every time I come to the people, God showed me something. It's about Kev. Mm. Every dream I have, Kevin. Every prophecy I have, Kevin. Every voice I hear from God, Kevin, 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 Kevin. My Lord. Every time, Kevin. That's obsession, jealousy, prophecy, out of anger, hatred, and never of God. That's right. That's right. You that prophesied that I would never preach again, let me show you why I am like I am. You see, I came out of deep-rooted darkness. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And when I came from the womb of falsehood, my head came out first. Amen. God liberated my mind. That's right. The rest of me had the struggle. Hallelujah. Glory. The rest of me had a struggle. Yeah. But I came out oh, yes. being guided by the hands of the Most High. That's right. Before I came out, I went through the phase of being on the receiving end of prophecy out of anger, hatred, and jealousy. That's right. These are all fear tactics. You that are listening in and you that are here. Whatever church you're in came from, have you ever experienced before you leave? The preacher see you leaving and come up with a prophecy. Yeah. If you leave, you're going to drop dead. Right. Amen. Right. If you leave, you're going to turn to a rabbit. <laughs> if you leave, your house going to burn down. Your children going to die. Your wife going to die. All of that. All of that. When I was in falsehood, 
I was on the receiving end of countless of man-made hell-deserving prophecies. That's right. If I did not know God. Amen. That's why we teach you about God and the ways of God and the characteristics of God so you don't be duped by somebody else, more importantly, yourself. That's right. The false prophet I was under, I was going to get married, of course. I, I didn't want him to marry me. I told my wife, Dottie, I said, I don't want him to marry me. I want my father to marry me. But he, she said, he is the pastor. I don't care what he is, I told her. <laughs> he got up, supposed to prophesy. Mm -hmm. If you get married, yeah. I pray you drop dead at the altar. He said, if you do get married, your wife will lay around sick and will never have no children. Listen, man, I done went around seven times. <laughs> That's right. I got seven. That's right. But he supposed to prophesy she would never have one child. My Lord, my Lord. My wife got worked up. I said, listen, you, you listen to me. She said, but he's the pastor. I said, I don't care if he's the devil. Why the hell? <laughs> Hear me. God deals with me. Mm -hmm. Just follow my lead, Amen. and I lead you right. That's right. So she rests on. I'm in my teens, man. That's right. My experience with God started in my early teens. Yeah. For I was 15 when the Lord first appeared to me. Amen. On the second day of my first Three day and three night fast. Then in my teens later, I fast seven days yeah. and seven nights that I may familiarize myself with the Most High. That's right. Then He led me again. I went on a seven day and seven night fast several times, and then He led me twelve days That's right. and twelve nights. I'm in my teens, going into my early 20s. Yeah. Not eating one meal a day. So he made me immune Amen. to false prophecies. Yes. I don't care how much they shake when they give them. Hey, 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 hey. Doing the boogaloo. That's right. That phase of my walk with God, I done been through already. That's right. Prophecy out of anger. Yeah. That means the preacher don't like what you've done so bad. That's right. He will lie on God. On God. To make you think he's so divine. Yes. He's such a divine leader. But his fear for God is so low that he will blaspheme. That's right. Listen at what Lamentation said. Who is he that say it? Who is he? Who is he that say it? That say it. And, and it, it comes to, to pass, pass when, the, when Lord the Lord commandeth it not. Said nothing. That's right. That's right. I want to hit hard, good. Hit hard. Yeah. Hit hard. I Come think of... How one false prophet said the Lord told him, there's no more first church. The Lord showed him in a vision. Oh. I was in a white limousine Cadillac with seven to eight fags. <laughs> <laughs> and here I don't even like white cars. Amen. If I got to tolerate, I tolerate, but I don't like no white cars. And I hate limousines. Amen. Give me a... 1936 Pierce Arrow, a 1940 Lincoln two-door coupe. Give me that. I want no limousine, man. <laughs> when you prophesy out of feeling, out of, feeling. Out of emotion, 
out of hatred. That's right. And then, regardless whether you're man or woman, and says, thus saith the Lord. The Lord. And the Lord said nothing. Mm -hmm. You are a living, breathing blasphemer. That's right. That's why I would never tell nobody nothing if God didn't say it. That's right. God didn't say it. I ain't trying to prove nothing to you. No. Men tried to, like when Trump was running for president mm -hmm. against Biden. Do you see the evangelical lunatics? <laughs> How the spirit of error. John said, hereby know no we the spirit of truth and the, and the spirit, spirit of man. error. The spirit of error fell upon the whole evangelical organization. Yes, it did. Angels in Africa. Angels in Italy. Angel I didn't know angels live in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> prophesying airplanes. Prophesying jets. Man, if you want an airplane, get a job and go to work and buy one. That's it. That's it. When the Lord say anything, who is he that saith? It's guaranteed to be what God said for not one word. That's right. Will fall, fall to, the to the ground. To the ground. I know this to be true. That's why I can boast about the things that God showed me concerning the church and then you witness it. That's right. And you keep witnessing over and over and over and over and over. So this jealous spin that's falling on the prophets, false prophets, they're saying, well, that's a farce. Maybe that's, yeah. maybe that's just, that was just, you know, something crazy that happened. 100 people got baptized. It won't happen again. Go somewhere, 150. Well, it's just something that happened. 200. That's right. 250. Two weeks' time, 1,300. Amen. Two weeks' time, 900. Yeah. One week' time, 300. Oh, yes. There ain't no farce here. Oh, no. No way. If God is not speaking That's it. through the prophet, the prophet, give me Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 18. Begin at verse 20. And we're at verse 20. Glory to God. But the prophet which shall presume. The prophet that shall presume. To speak a word in my name. That shall presume to speak a word in my name. Which I have not commanded which him to I speak. I have not authorized him to say. Or that shall speak in the name of other gods. Or the moment a man believe in more than one God. That's right. And try to prophesy, don't pay him no mind. That's right. Because he's coming in the name of other gods. Other gods. Hear this. But the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name. Yes. Which I have not commanded him to speak. Uh -huh. Or that shall speak in the name of other gods. Yes. Even that prophet shall die. That prophet. Now I believe what God said. Oh yes. They said. I'm going to die. <laughs> Amen. If it's God's will. Mm -hmm. I would never preach again. Can you imagine that? Something God sorry. ain't ready for that to happen yet. No. Psh, sorry. <laughs> That's right. I really got them like a thorn in their side. That's true. So bad. They wish I was dead when the broadcast, when they hijacked our YouTube station channel, took it off the air. False prophets were saying, you see there? That's God will. Mm. God took them off. Then what we back for? <laughs> That's right. Be slow. Be slow. Very slow. Oh yes. To say, thus saith the Lord. The Lord. I don't care how many tongues you go in. <laughs> I don't care how much jumping you do. That's right. How much shouting? You see, one of the greatest things that can happen is when God delivers you out of falsehood, but you learn while you're there. Oh yeah. Yes, you do. 
Oh, yes. You learn. And then when you come walk with truth, now you got a better vision. In some ways, you got a better vision than some that have been in the truth all their life. Because there are some things they never saw and never experienced and they can't properly identify. That's right. God had brought me out of darkness, but while I was there, I saw a whole lot. A whole lot. Oh, to God. Amen. Where I can point out, that's God. That's God. Uh, that's not God. That's I can right. point it out now. That's right. That's right. Why my experience that's it. with God have enabled me to be able to say that's God. That's, right. that's not God. Look at Elijah on the mountain. That's right. He said the Lord going to pass by. Pass by. Rocks rent. Wind blew. Wind blew. Fire came down. But he said, God is not in it. Not in it. But when that voice started talking to him, yeah. Hallelujah, thank God. Yeah, yes. That small, stale voice, small voice. He knew that was God. That's God. That's right. Experience with God will make you to differentiate, recognize right. what's God. What's not God? And you'll see past the hype. Oh, yes. You'll see past the emotion. Oh, yes. Look past the emotion. Look past the hype. And look at God. That's it. That's right. Hallelujah. Go God. That's right. That's right. And That's look right. at God. How am I going to see God? I'm going to look at the scriptures. That's it. That's right. I'm going to look at God from what's written here. That's it. He that believeth upon me, he said, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of, li yes. rivers of living water. That's right. That's how we look at God. That's it. I don't care how much Bible a man quote. He can quote the Bible till he fall out. When a <laughs> thing is not the Pope quote Bible. Yeah. That's right. I'm looking past that. Oh, yes. I'm looking at God. Look at what Deuteronomy says. Here. Now, Follow Deuteronomy me. chapter 18, we're at verse 21. Go back to verse 20. I want to get all of it again. At verse 20. What is it? But the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name. The prophet which shall presume to speak a word. In my name. In my name. Which I have not commanded him to speak. It ain't no man of God a real one. Not a real one. Every all here, all the world, the world is flooded oh, yes. with false prophets, and God only talked to me about Kevin. <laughs> every dream I have, every voice I hear, every Kevin, voice. Kevin, 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 Kevin. You mean to tell me all these false prophets in the world, and the only one that God talked to me about is Kevin? Amen. Amen. I can't make an excuse and say God talked to me about Kevin because he's the Antichrist. The Bible says many, many Antichrists will come. come. Many. Many of them. A whole lot of them. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. I want to make it so plain so I can <laughs> wake people up that's so dumb. That's right. Hear me good? But the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name. In my name. Which I have not commanded him to speak. Which I didn't authorize him to say. Or that shall speak in the name of other gods. God ain't told no preacher <laughs> that I will never preach again. No. no. Hear me good. Hear me good. Hear me good. <laughs> That's right. You hell-deserving preachers out there. God ain't stopped to not one of not you. Not one of you. And told me I'll never preach again. Some the devil made prophesy to say. that I'm going to die and someone else is going to take over but I'm going to die in about a year. Oh. I ain't going nowhere in a year but on a vacation. <laughs> and I guarantee you I'm going to be well alive. Amen. 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 They want me dead. Amen. They want me sick. 
They want me half dead. They just don't want me operating. <laughs> now, true. when you turn social media on, and here is all of these fellas supposed to be sent of God, but yet they all talk about one little fella. That's right. You mean to tell me one little fella have all you fellas upset like this? <laughs> Amen. I'm only about a buck 69, a buck 70 in weight. Glory to God, but this thing I'm preaching is heavy, God knows. Amen. Very heavy. And it's causing such a disturbance. This, I, we're in your dream. We're in your subconscious mind. That's right. You get on your knees and pray. You, you, you see this and you try to preach. You can't preach without calling our name. That's right. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? It's the powers of hell that send your soul. That's right. Listen uh -huh. at this good. But the prophet which because shall present. the devil have duped a lot of people yeah. who don't know God, didn't know God. They're somewhere, they're sitting somewhere now, scared, shaking, yeah. because yeah. some preacher done some preacher. supposed to prophesy some great hurricane coming over their head. My Lord, my Lord. You're so foolish. My Lord. I have never in my life, all my years, what few people went out, mm -hmm. supposed to prophesy against them. You're going to die. You're going to go in a coma. You're going to lose a leg. You're going to get blind. You're going to walk into a car. You're going to turn into a turtle. <laughs> I never did that stuff. Out of all the years I've been leading the people. That's right. Never. Never. <laughs> I'm not going to get angry with you if you walk out. I'm not doing it. No. Because if Williams go, God's going to send 100 of him. That's right. That's right. If you go, God going to give me victory somewhere, 250 going to replace you. Yeah. He do it all the time. That's right. All the time. Lord, dear God, I'm sitting back on the well resting. <laughs> Amen. Preaching the words of God. Amen. I'm just, hallelujah, I'm just as confident in the God of Abraham, Amen. Isaac, and Jacob as I can be. Amen. Know who spoke to you. That's right. And no, who ain't never said nothing. That's right. Hear this? But the prophet which shall presume to speak a word the in my name. prophet that shall presume to speak a word in my name. Which I have not commanded him to speak. And I didn't authorize him to say it. Or that shall speak in the name of other gods. Even that prophet shall die. And what? And if thou say in thine heart. If you say in your heart. How shall we know the word which the Lord hath not spoken? Glory to God. Amen. This take me back to the year 1969. Uh -huh. Amen. In 1969, I was about, about six. Yeah, I was six years old. I remember that now as if it was yesterday. It's when my oldest sister received the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Uh -huh. I remember that night. She was speaking in tongues for God knows so, so many hours. I, I never saw no one speak in tongue that long. Uh -huh. Speaking in tongue from the church. They helped her in the car. Speaking in tongue all in the car. Speaking in tongue outside. Speaking in tongue when they went inside. <laughs> but I was fascinated with it. Yeah. I remember they set her down in the living room. My father said, y'all going to have a good time. I'm going to bed. I got to work tomorrow. <laughs> My mother went in the kitchen. I was six years old. And my sister was speaking in tongue. And I remember yeah. I got a dining room chair and pulled up right in front of her and was just sitting there. That's right. That's Man, right. I was fascinated. Yes. She had her eyes closed, speaking in tongues. She didn't even know I was sitting right in front of her. Mm. But I remember distinctly when the Spirit of God was quickening her body. She was speaking in other tongues at the Spirit of God to get her utterance. When prophecy comes, it doesn't come in a language you don't understand. Right. If someone's speaking in tongue and then God make them prophesy, that prophecy is going to come out in your language. That's right. To whomsoever that prophecy is for. That's right. 
I remember at six years old. Glory to God. I was sitting there in the dining room. The night she received the Holy Ghost. And the Spirit of God hit her and she was speaking in tongues. She stopped and started prophesying and said, Nikki, that's me, you know. <laughs> she never knew I was sitting in front of her. She said, Nikki, going to be a preacher someday. She went right back speaking in tongues. I sat there. I looked. I jumped up and leaned back, went back speaking in tongue, prophesied again. Nikki shall be a preacher someday. When I was speaking in tongue, mm. later on, prophesied again. Nikki shall be a preacher someday. You see, God word. That's right. It just got to come got to, to pass. Come to pass. Got to I was six years old then. Long before I become 10, I was about eight or nine or seven, was when I first heard God's voice. I thought it was my father. Like Samuel thought it was Eli. Mm -hmm. God kept calling my name loud. Nikki. I remember where I was standing. I was standing between the doorway that separated the kitchen from dining room. And I was walking, going to the kitchen. The moment I got to that doorway, Nikki! I said, man, what daddy want? Went to the step of the living room. Yeah, dad, you call me? No, I ain't call you. I said, hmm. <laughs> got back to that point again. Nikki! Hmm. I said, nothing, no, it's stupid. <laughs> I ran back in the living room. Daddy, what do you want? You call me? I said I didn't call you. That's it. That's right. Yeah, that's right. On my way back again, got to the same spot. I heard that voice louder than you hear mine. Hmm. Nikki! I said, <laughs> Daddy, I, I keep hearing you call. He said, You call me one more time. I'm going to give you a reason to call me. <laughs> Didn't know who it was then. Amen. But I know who it was now. Yes. <laughs> Heard God's voice call me by name. Wonderful. See, it doesn't matter to me if somebody comes now and says, God haven't sent that man. I don't pay you no mind, man. God spoke to me before I met you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> He been spoke to me already. Yes. That's right. And his word came to pass. Came to pass. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's Everywhere right. we go, he give us victory in every state, every town, every village, every country. God do it. That's right. Why? God said he would. That's right. That's right. I don't have to make up nothing to try to appear to be spiritual. Amen. Hallelujah to God. I don't have to make up nothing. No, no. We're not competing with nobody. That's no. right. Oh, no. Glory to God. That's right. Amen. Some men want to be like others so bad, they try to copy their calling. Hmm. When God appeared unto me, he didn't look like no astronaut. He's going to look like me working for someone, working for NASA. For NASA. <laughs> Outer space, Pastor. Outer space God. <laughs> when God appeared unto me, he didn't look like no painting that Michelangelo drew. No. <laughs> no. The prophet described him. That's right. Hair white like wool, white, white, as, snow. white as snow. Eyes as a flame of fire. Yeah. His face was white like lightning. White like lightning. And his feet and arms, hands like the color of polished brass. That's right. As if they'd been tried in the fire. That's right. Ain't um, no man can paint that and tell the truth. No. 
Glory to God. Amen. So when prophecy come out, it must be by God's permission. That's right. Never, ever by feelings, anger, jealousy, hatred. Hatred. And that's where 99.9 of the prophecies is going forth now from some preacher, some mm -hmm. apostle, some a prophet, some bishop, some elder, some half-pipe minister, some quarter-ounce deacon. <laughs> That's right. Some woman. That's right. Prophecies. Prophecies. From emotion. Mm -hmm. Not from God. Amen. Hear this good now. And if thou say in thine heart, ah, if you say in thine heart, in your heart, how shall we know the word which the how Lord will hath I know? spoken? How will I know yeah. the word which the Lord hath not spoken? That the Lord hath not said. When a prophet speaketh in the name yeah. of the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God knows. <laughs> I Amen. love this. Amen. When the prophet speaketh speak in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. If the thing follow not. If the thing don't happen. Nor come to pass. Nor come to pass. That is the thing. That is the thing. Which the Lord hath not spoken. But the prophet had spoken it presumptuously. Thou shalt not be afraid of him. Don't pay him no mind. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's right. We was on Frankfurt Avenue. Before we had financial backing mm -hmm. of any kind, I sold the property. Mm -hmm. Sold the church to a developer. We had no financial backing to buy this. But I believe God. Amen. And I move with faith and move with fear and have no financial institution to agree to give us finance at all. Amen. I came and saw this place at 2014. And in 2014 when I saw it, I told God I want it. Hmm. And I want you to give it to me. And anybody try to get it, block them. Amen. Several religious organizations try to get this property. At all times, their loan never came through. Lord. Muslims try to get it. Non-denominationals try to get it. Because I talked to the Catholic people. Mm. Pentecostals tried to get it. Developers tried to get it. Yeah. One developer was a multi-millionaire. He offered them cash. Mm. He, they turned it down. They said, we want to keep it as a church. Amen. They turned his money down. Mm. They had no idea that turned them down because God was saving it for the truth of God family. That's right. That's right. Everything they tried. People were so mad at us until they called the city to try to have us kicked out of Frankfurt Avenue. We had our engineers come in, build support beams from the basement, lower auditorium. Main auditorium, up to the roof. People got so mad at us, <laughs> caught the city. Wanted to shut the church down. They thought they would close us up. Oh, Lord. City called me. I said, all right, I'll meet you there. Got my engineer report. He said, Reverend Jennings, listen, we have to come look at everything just because people called. I said, it doesn't bother That's me. That's right, Chief. That's right. He looked at everything from the basement. I was right behind him. Nice. <laughs> I was like a shadow. Yeah. <laughs> Went from floor to floor, showed him the report. He said, between you and I, they only called because they don't like it. He said, everything is in order. It wasn't God's will for us to be kicked out. It was God's will for us to walk out. That's right. You view us. I want you to think clear. Clearly. The thing you up against 
It's what God said. That's it. What God brought to pass. That's right. The prophecy that brings this work to pass was God given, is God given, and shall forever be God given. That's right. That's right. Sometimes men come in here with their little book learning and education. Oh, this is ludicrous. Nobody paying your blind mind, no mind. <laughs> Pastor Jennings, you ought to do this. I ought to do what God said. That's right. Wonderful. Pastor Jennings, try this. No, I'm going to do what God said. Wonderful. Pastor Jennings, go this way. Oh, no. God done already laid the course for me to go. That's so right. the church will always be successful. Wonderful. What did he say there? When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord. When a prophet speaketh in the Lord's name. If the thing follow not. It don't happen. Nor come to pass. That is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken. Did but, not, did, did not, don't I tell you, <laughs> before we go to a place, the victory is ours. That's what you say. That's That's the reason say. why I tell you that, because the Lord has spoken Amen. years ago. Years ago. <laughs> That's why when I go to a place with this gospel, I don't care where it is. Right. That's, That's true. Right. I'm guaranteed victory all the time. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I know that burn your britches up out there. Burn your britches up. But that's the way God designed it. That's, that's the right. way God presented it. That's and right. that's the way I believe it. And that's the way it happens. Amen. 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 I love the fact I'm in something that God is in. God is in it. So all of you preachers out there that's making prophecies. They told me one false prophet said homosexuals going to take over the church. <laughs> that's what he wished. My Lord, my Lord. Why you wish that? <laughs> <laughs> my Lord, my Lord. They wish that mm. because they don't want the work to keep the snowball effect that it has. That's right. You see how the devil desire evil. That's right. Upon the church, but Jesus protects his church. That's right. He said the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. Shall not shall not prevail against you. Prevail against the church. That's right. Mm. Amen. Amen. They heard me say that some time ago and somebody wrote in and said the homosexuals took over uh, Bishop Johnson's church. Bishop Johnson ain't never had no church. And the homosexuals back then didn't take over the church. Right. They took over the building. That's right. Nobody take over the church. The Holy Ghost takes over the church. That's right. You see how blind you folks are? Blind. You want this to come to an end, but no, no. <laughs> oh, no, no. All right, that God wins. God have it all protected in good. Wonderful. Amen. Do you hear what it says? And if thou say in thine heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord has not Pastor spoken? Pastor Jennings will never preach again. The Lord said so. My Lord, the Lord man. ain't said nothing. What a lie. All of you preachers, I lie. wanted you to hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me good. Amen. All of you that have prophesied mm. against the truth of God in any form, every last one of you, including your daddy, your mama, your wife, and your husband, are liars. They lied. Every they last lied. one of them. You see, by the time you came, God spoke to me. Long time. Long time. Before you came here. <laughs> That's right. So these little tournament green visions and black eyed pea dreams Amen. and llama beans, subconscious thoughts. That's right. Prophecies out of anger, prophecies out of hatred. Viewers, how many of you can identify when you left some church, the pastor of that church made a prophecy from hell. From hell. You're going to die. Yeah. 
Your house going to burn down. Yeah. You're going to lose your job. Mm -hmm. You're going to end up sick. <laughs> Amen. And you will sit home scared and shaky. That's right. God said, don't be afraid of them. When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord. When a prophet speak in the, in the Lord's name. If the thing follow not. If it don't happen. Nor come to pass. Nor come to pass. That is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken. That is the thing that God have never said. But the prophet has spoken it presumptuously. His own feelings. Thou shalt not be afraid of him. Don't be afraid of him. That's right. Don't be afraid. That's what got me barking like I am. I'm not afraid of none of you. That's right. I know who sent you. God <laughs> said, I have not, I have not sent, sent these prophets. These prophets. Yet they ran. Give me Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 23. We'll start at verse 20. Begin at verse 18. At verse 18. Hear me good. For who has stood in the counsel of the Lord? Who stand where God give advice. And hath perceived and heard his word. And hear God's word. Who hath marked his word and heard it. Yes. Behold a whirlwind of the Lord has gone forth in fury. What? Behold a whirlwind. A whirlwind. Of the Lord. Of the Lord. Is gone forth in, in fury. Gone forth in fury. Even a grievous whirlwind. A grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. And what? The anger of the Lord shall not return. Do you hear that? Until he have executed. Yeah, yeah. I want to stay on God's mercy side. Oh, yes. Whatever happens. Oh, yes. May heaven always be merciful unto me. That's right. Amen. That's right. You always want God's mercy. Amen. All right. Don't bother my power back there now. If anything, turn it up. <laughs> the Lord ain't told you to do that. <laughs> All right, come on, son. <laughs> the, anger, right. the anger of the Lord shall not return. Yes. Until he have executed, until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. The thoughts. See, you have God thoughts. Yeah. And you have the thoughts of some nut. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You out there, can you tell the difference? Mm -hmm. Look past the preacher always jumping in. <laughs> I don't pay that no mind. That's right. That's right. When that preacher, when I was in falsehood, told me that stuff, Williams and others can bear witness. Mm -hmm. He stood up and called himself prophesying. He said, you're another pastor. You will never lead nobody. That's right. Nobody nope. will ever follow you. That's right. You will never build churches around the world. Yeah. He told me you will never have a broadcast. I said quiet. Yes, you did. Amen. That's right. Before I heard him, I heard from heaven. That's right. And it made me steadfast. When you hear from heaven, that's all that counts. That's all that counts. You're not moved. You don't break a sweat. You laugh when you yeah. hear otherwise. Yeah. I laugh. Oh, yes. Bible is how God laughs at their calamity. Their calamity. I laugh that's when right. I hear all these false prophets. The Lord told me he's going to get ill. He's going to fall out of a parachute. He's going to have a plane crash. He's going to turn to a waffle. He's going to turn oh. to a hamburger. <laughs> yes. All type of stuff. All type of stuff, Pastor. I'm gonna turn to the hamburger. <laughs> All type of stuff. in the trash can next to the fellow in Sesame Street. <laughs> I done heard all kind of fool all stuff. All kind of fool stuff. What is it? Spirit of jealousy. That's it. Yes. How long shall they this have be? a lying spirit? That's right. A lying spirit. In the mouth of all, all the prophets. All the prophets. How long? Listen at this. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23 and verse 26. Says what? How long, How shall, long this shall this be? In the heart of in the, the prophets. Heart, in the heart of the prophets. That prophesy lies. <laughs> How long shall this be? You that's following anybody mm -hmm. that are watching me now, contact your pastor. Tell them tune in. That's right. That's right. You that are following some preacher, some sloth. Amen. That prophesy any form 
of negative. That's right. Towards the truth of God, anything. Tell them he's a liar. He's a liar. God ain't tell them nothing. Nothing. You sloth. That's right. With a bunch of pulpit sloths. That's it. I don't care how they yell it, how they go in the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Sounding like a Gatling gun. I don't pay that no mind. Don't pay that no mind. How much spirit they get in? <laughs> oh, the Lord said, the Lord said. Put that hand behind their back like it's broken. That's right. <laughs> what? I have heard what the prophet said. I heard it. What the prophet said. What the prophet said. That prophesied lies. That prophesied lies. In my name. In the Lord's name. God said this. God, God ain't never showed a person every dream, every prophecy, one person. One person. Every time I go to bed, Williams, 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 Williams. <laughs> Wake up, William. <laughs> Wake up, William. Sleep, William. What's that matter? Yeah, there's a problem. There's a problem. And that much prophecy in the Flintstones. He might, me good now. he might have to get on the couch, Pastor. Huh? He need to be, they need, they need a psychiatrist. They need a psychiatrist. Because right there, <laughs> I'm in your mind too much. That's right. You preachers just talk about me every chance you get. I'm in your mind too much. That's right. Just too much. Amen. You expect that, you know, maybe in a woman's mind or something, but a man. A man. A man. A man. <laughs> That's right. Why, you old pulpit fairy. That's right. That's right. That's right. Kevin Amen. Amen. I a pulpit fairy. That's right. That's right. Amen. I have heard what the prophet said. I hear you. That prophesy lies in my name. I hear you out there. Pastor Jennings is going to have a coma and all this stuff. Mm. They heard I had a stroke. That one false prophet said the Lord told him I'll never be able to talk right. My Lord. That is not all right. <laughs> I talk all right. <laughs> huh? My body's still many. Yes. But brother and sister, my mouth is good enough to break down this book here. That's right. And take it apart. That's right. And let the world know. Wonderful. Glory to God who God is. That's it. That's it. That's right. All of these fake prophecies, fake prophecies. is wishful thinking. They want these things to happen yeah. to the truth of God. Viewers, viewers, get me now. Think of it. All of these men in the world. Mm -hmm. And I'm the only little fella. <laughs> That all these fellas talk about. Something is wrong with them. Something's wrong. Amen. Amen. Uh, we're going to keep dreaming about Pastor Jennings. <laughs> and you a man? That's He's right. He's a sissy. Yeah, something's wrong. Keep dreaming about me like that. What's the matter with you? Amen. One man wrote me and said, Your eyelashes ain't that long. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> I, I tell you the truth. I speak the truth and I not. Mm. A man wrote in and said, in fact, he said, I wear makeup. Your what? skin is not. Yes, he did. <laughs> One man wrote in. He didn't <laughs> like my skin was smooth. He said, you wear makeup. Man, no, I don't. No. I, I'm just blessed with good skin. That's right. Another man said, Yo, I, <laughs> Come on, he said, I wear eyeline shadow. No, I don't. <laughs> What's the matter with you fellas? What's the matter? Your pulpit fags? That's right. That's right. That's right. God said he made man. I'm a man here. That's right. I'm an old man here. You Bible toting fags out there? That's right. That's right. Why should the smoothness of my skin or the length of my eyebrows matter to you? Yes. You're a man. You're a man. 
pulpit, faggot. That's right. Yes, I said it and I meant it. That's right. God made man. That's right. Lord have mercy. I don't care about no man. I don't care about no man's skin. I don't care if his eyelash is so long he can paint a wall. What do Amen. I care? Amen. All I want is his soul to get right. That's it. That's right. What did he say here? I have heard what the prophet said. I heard what the prophet said. I prophesy lies in my prophesy name. Prophesy lies in my name. Saying I have dreamed. I, here it is. I have dreamed. I dreamed. I have, I dreamed. have dreamed. How long? I have dreamed. Listen that the Bible talk about your pastor. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophet? How long? How long? Yeah. How long is your pastor going to keep dreaming Dreaming about Geno Genesis. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I shouldn't be on no man. No. Mine. No. That long. Not that long. That bad. That's right. And that often. That's right. A grown man. Grown man. That's right. That's right. We ain't that close. No. I think about your pastor, but not like that. <laughs> I think about you, too. <laughs> certainly ain't like that. <laughs> no real man. Amen. Does God keep one man? No way. On another's mind. No way. He never done it since he been God. Amen. Listen at this. Jeremiah chapter 23 verses 25 and 26. I have dreamed. I have heard what the prophet said that prophesied lies in my name. What is it? Saying I have dreamed. I have dreamed. I have dreamed. I have dreamed. How long shall how this long? be in the heart of the prophets? You see how the Bible manifests the deeds of men? That's right. So you can tell the difference. What's of God? What's of not? If you don't know what's of God and what's of not, and when that man or that fella start talking, you'll be moving. Oh, yes, you will. Oh, go, go, go. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> He's all in the flesh. That's right. Not speaking in the spirit. That's He's right. sitting out there saying something repeatedly over Clearly. and over and over, and you in a chair. <laughs> no, no more spirit than little Richard had. That's right. He had one leg on the piano. No spirit. <clears throat> Be able to tell the difference. Oh, yes. Between prophecy out of anger, mm -hmm. jealousy, hatred, obsession, yeah. God. That's right. Like sometime a man may prophesy to a woman because he's so crazy about it. Hey, the Lord spoke to me. We met, we, we, we met, it's meant for us to get married. Hmm. What do you keep bothering me for? I don't know you. Hey, girl, I'm, I'm going to keep letting you know because it's me and God. See, this is about me and God now. It's me and God. God talked to me about you. My Lord, my Lord. He told me your birthday is January 2nd. You see that? My birthday is July 2nd. <laughs> not January. It's July 2nd. My Lord. Well, I got it wrong that time. That's not God. That's not God. <laughs> Oh, that's not God. That's the way the false prophets did when Donald Trump lost the election. Yeah. Every last one of those evangelical men and women said, we got it wrong this time. God has never got his prophecy wrong. No. Never. Never. He said not one word. That's right. Has fall to the ground. So shall my words so be. So shall my words be. That goeth forth out of my mouth. That go forth out of my mouth. It shall not it return, shall unto, not unto, me return unto me void. But it shall accomplish. What? It shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. I remember some years ago, one of my brothers, I won't call his name, but he's here. <laughs> He'll be able to identify with what I'm talking. Years ago, I think it was on Frankfurt Avenue. He was going to start a business. He said, pray for me. 
that I'd be success, successful. I say, as long as you keep God first, Amen. you'll be successful. Right. The day he's successful. Nice. Nice. Wonderful. Wonderful. All you got to do is keep God first. That's right. And recognize the sound of God. That's it. The sound of God. What do God sound like? Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. The sound of God is the sound of scripture. That's right. Anybody can shake. Yeah. Anybody can go in the tongue and ain't got nothing to do with God. It ain't the Holy Ghost at all. No. The speaking tongue can just say something fast. That's right. Oh, 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 oh. You know, like some of the noises I hear here. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> some of the noise I hear here, I, some of the noise I hear here is no. <laughs> I know the Holy Ghost. Amen. And I know some of this junk ain't no Holy Ghost. No, no. I'm just bold enough to tell you to your face. Amen. Some of that stuff ain't the Holy Ghost. No. Holy Ghost hit him when the subject is favorable. That's right. Is it not favorable? Mm -hmm. That's right. They look at me like I lost my mind. Amen. Wait on the Spirit. Let the Spirit work. That's it. Spirit don't move, you be still. Amen. Don't come to me later on. Pastor Jennings. You think I was in the spirit? Don't ask me nothing. Judge yourself. Right. You have to know whether you're in the spirit or not. That's right. Just like I know when a person is not in the spirit. Mm -hmm. You have to know when you're in the spirit. Right. Hear yeah, me good. Back in Jeremiah 23, verses 25 and 26. Glory to God. Read quick, son. I have heard what the prophet said that prophesied lies in my name. Yes. Saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. Mm -hmm. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets? Where is it? In the heart of the prophet. That's where the prophecy is coming from, viewer. That's right. It's not coming from God. No. It's coming from the feelings of a man's heart. That's right. I remember when Ed Elder Hadley came from Georgia to visit me. I brought him here to the headquarters, and he looked around and took pictures. And he said he loved it. And he began to talk to me about one preacher. He said, well, I'll tell you of the truth. He's obsessed with you. My Lord. He's always, he said, I had to call him one day. Why every time when God talked to you is about Gino? Hmm. You dream Gino? It used to be a restaurant when I was a little called Gino's. Gino's. You remember that? <laughs> That's before some of you young folks died. And there used to be a commercial. There was a little boy with his black and white dog. The theme song was, Everybody goes to Gino. Mm -hmm. Gino's is the place to go. <laughs> Everybody goes right. to Gino. Gino's is the place to go. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Amen. 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 I remember that. Mm -hmm. Gino's fast food was good too, man. Oh yeah. Amen. The big, the big Mac. Some other stores had, I believe they had the uh, Geno's Giant. Mm -hmm. you know, so we have a giant gospel here. That's right. Finger licking good too. Amen. That's why folks are all around the world coming back for more. Oh, yes. How often you fellas out there, all of you, oh, is going to keep dreaming? Do you hear your dreams in the Bible here? I, I have heard what the prophet said. I heard you. That prophesy lies in my name. Yes. Yeah. Say. Oh, I bet they're mm -hmm. on social media oh, cussing, yeah. yelling. They just as mad. Here's to you folks. Amen. Get this. I have heard what the prophet said that prophesy lies in my name. In my name. Saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. Do you know how dangerous this is? Dangerous. I have dreamed. I have dreamed. I have dreamed. How long shall this How be? How long shall it be? In the heart of the prophets. Not from heaven. 
in the heart of the prophet. It's in man's heart. That prophesy lies. That prophesy lies. Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of the What? Yea, they are prophets. They of, are prophets of the deceit. Prophets, prophets of the deceit. Of the deceit. Of their own heart. I told you, it's not God, it's their own feeling. Yeah, that's right. Prophets of their own deceits. Mm-hmm. Of their own heart. Of hearts. their own heart. You out there that said, God told you I'd never preach again. Hell told you that. That's right. And the devil is your God, not the God of heaven. No. I said the devil told you that. The devil told you that. That's why you listen to me now. <laughs> That's right. Do you hear this? How long shall this be in the heart of the prophet? How long? That prophesy lies. Why you fellas can't get up with an anointing without talking about Geno Genesis? That's right. Where's your anointing at? That's right. Huh? Where is it? Where is it? When you're not called and not sent, mm -hmm. there's no anointing. No anointing. When I was little, we used to take tin cans and crush them, put them on the heel of our sneakers. So we can make noise walking down the street. Yeah. That's what you preachers did. <laughs> That's right. You done took me and put, your own, put me on the heel of your foot and just walking around. <laughs> Gino, 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 Gino. That's all you hear. Glory to God. My Lord, my Lord. Do you hear this? I would want to follow a man every time, every time. he get up. Gino Genesis. No. Every time God ain't got nothing else to talk to me about. <laughs> Is God that busy? My Lord. That he got to keep talking to me about Williams. <laughs> keep talking to me about you every time I sleep. I want to go to sleep. Want to go to sleep. Hear me good. I have heard what the prophet said. Uh, that prophesy lies in my name. In my name. Saying I have dreamed, I have dreamed. Yes. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophet? Uh -huh. That prophesy lies. Yes. Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart. Do you hear this? Yeah. Amen. My former pastor told me I would never amount to nothing. God told him, supposedly. Mm. God told him that my wife would never have no children. And we got seven rascals around here. Seven. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Imagine that. All this is all these lies. That's right. One, one, one fellow said the Lord showed him Williams was leaving and coming with him. Dan was leaving and coming with him. My Lord. When Williams leave here, he go home. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> go home with his wife, Reese. That's right. Brothers and sisters, don't let your hate, your jealousy, yeah. cause you to be God's enemy. Th That's right. Till you lie on him lie on in God. his name. Amen. And dumb, ignorant, hell-bound followers believe it. Believe it. Listen. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets? Real quick. That prophesy lies, yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart. Yes. Which think to cause my people. Which think. To cause my people. To cause my people. To forget my name. That's the problem. That's the problem. They get the people to forget God's name, God's word. That's right. Uh -huh. Which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams. By their what? By their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> you mean to tell me everywhere I go, I talk about Geno Genesis? Every man. Every city. I go preach for somebody. Geno Genesis. That's right. Prayer meeting. Geno Genesis. Yep. That's right. Gino, what, what is this? What is this it? is all Bible here. It's Bible. That's right. The Bible describing the actions of you preachers out there. That's right. That's so obsessed mm -hmm. with Gino man. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> huh? I need to have a cape on Eat. and a big G on my chest and let the brothers turn the fan on and my jacket blow. <laughs> That's right. This is a job for a Gino man. That's right. You dumb, ignorant, hell-bound things out there. Amen. Amen. Do you hear the Bible talking about you? Which the Bible is describing it to the T. Amen. The Bible is, that's why I thank God for this program. Oh, 
Oh, yes. It's an eye opener. Oh, yes. yes and I want you that made prophecies, look at yourself. That's right. Who was talking through you? That's right. Don't tell me you were shaking and jumping and talking. I don't, I don't want to hear nothing about that. <laughs> Who was talking through you? Who was talking through you? Amen. Amen. Right, that's right. That's right. Who said that through you? <laughs> that's right. Who told you that brother going to be your husband? Mm. Am mm. I right, I said? Amen. Oh, who told you that woman going to be your wife? That's right. I had to straighten one brother out. He passed on now. Every woman he went to, he came to me. Pastor Jennings, I know the Lord, uh, uh, he talked to you already. I said, Lord, he told me nothing. What you talking about? <laughs> the last sister he was talking to, he said, the Lord already let me know he talked to you. Mm. I said, what about? <laughs> <laughs> He said about her. I said, God never mentioned her name to me. My Lord. He said, didn't you see her when I come to church? <laughs> Amen. He said, but he will. I said, no, he won't. Mm. He said, what? I said, God ain't going to talk to me about her concerning you. Amen. He said, God, let me know I'm going to marry her. I mm. said, no, he didn't. Mm. He said, you don't think? I said, I know he didn't. No, he didn't. And he never married her either. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Be careful. Hear the old man now. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets? Be careful. Amen. Or come out of your mouth. That's right. Be afraid. Be afraid. To declare it to be God. That's right. Be scared. That's right. You That's interested right. in a girl? Just say you interested in her. You're pretty good. You well put together like a thick piece of leather. <laughs> Do you need God to show you God she's fine? <laughs> Am I right? You don't, right. Need, you don't need God to show you she's fine? No. No, no. Oh, go. oh hallelujah. hallelujah. The, the Lord spoke to me and told me you look good. I cut that line out. That's right. Either she look good or she don't. That's right. You don't need no Holy Ghost for that. No. If you need, if you in the spirit, you ain't think about how she looked no way. You That's ain't right. got time. That's right. <laughs> you ain't got time to notice how she looked. No. You gotta wait till the spirit wear off. That's right. Come back to yourself and then you can. Yeah. <laughs> no anointing there. No anointing there. I'm gonna make it so plain you got to understand. That's right. Amen. Hear me good. How long yeah, yeah. Am mm -hmm. I right, Moretti? Glory to am I, I hear you back there, Moretti. What did it say, son? How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets? How long shall it be in the heart of the prophets? That prophesy lies. Yes. Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart. Yes. Which think to cause my people to forget my name. Uh -huh. By their dream. Yeah. Which they tell every man to his neighbor. Yes. As their fathers have forgotten my name. Yes. For Baal. They forgotten my name for who? Have forgotten my name for Baal. That's the problem. That's the problem. They forgot the Lord's name for the devil. That's right. Let me close out, I believe, uh, Matthew mm -hmm. 7, 14. Amen. Let me close it back out. Amen. If any man speak, let him speak. This is a good lesson today. That's right. Hear this now. St. Matthew. Now you preachers, this is what I want you to do. Make your webcast <laughs> or your podcast or your broadcast, whatever cast you do, and talk about us some more and lie. And lie. And say the Lord said so. Mm. And you dumb, ignorant followers believe it. That's right. The Lord ain't said nothing no more than my name is Jeffro Bodine. Amen. <laughs> and I got a rope. To hold up my pants like a belt. <laughs> Am I right, I said? That's right. Oh, yes. Hear this. St. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 14. Yeah. Because straight is the gate. Straight is the gate. And narrow is the way. Narrow is the way. Which leadeth unto life. Which leadeth to life. And few there be that find it. But what? Beware of, Beware. of false prophets. Nice 
How do they come? Which come to you in sheep's clothing. They come looking godly. But inwardly. And what? They are ravening wolves. They are no good. Ye shall know them by their fruits. What? Ye shall know them by their fruits. Amen. You preachers that's yelling about the truth of God. This is how God say I know you. By their fruits. Your tree is barren. That's right. You got to call my name to get viewers. You got to call mm. my name so people can come see you. You mean you <laughs> need my name that bad? My Lord. So people can come listen at you? My Lord. You hear all I preach is Jesus. <laughs> That's right. And him crucified. That's right. Or oh, they want me to call right. their name, but their name is not worth calling. No. There's no significance, no importance, no, important. no power. That's right. Hear this? Beware of false prophets. Beware! Of false prophets. That goes for anything here. Any, that's right. That's right. God didn't say something. Shut up. Amen. I don't Amen. care if you jump around like you're the Lone Ranger. If God didn't say something, <laughs> right. shut up. That's right. Hey, man, just be quiet. Just be quiet. That's right. Am I right, Will? That's right. Hear me good? Hear me good? Beware. All you that's of the first church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That love the truth of God of a truth. Yeah. God having said nothing through you, shut your mouth. That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 Beware of false prophets. Beware. Which come to you. Prophet. Amen. Mean messenger. Mm -hmm. False. Mean phony. Phony. Fake. Fraud. Yep. That's someone whom God never sent. That's right. Somebody asked me, would I consider Solomon a false prophet because of his indulgence with 700 wives and 300 concubines? And he wasn't a false prophet. No, no. They took his heart. They took his heart. A false prophet is someone God never sent. That's right. God never spoke to. God appeared to that man. That's right. He died wrong, but it didn't change the fact. God appeared to him. Appeared to him. And the word of God never made him a false prophet. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Amen. To the degree until David nice, sent a woman and husband on the front line. Yeah. Got his wife pregnant. Yeah. David fell before God. God covered him. He covered himself and sackcloth and in ashes. That's right. God allowed a child to be born dead. Yeah. Then later on testified about David. Yeah. I found David, the son of Jesse. Jesse. A man after my own heart. My own heart. One that shall fulfill all my will. Yeah. That's right. They hate me so bad, they said I got a baby what? out there in Alabama. Bring me the woman and bring me the baby. Wow. Because I'm telling you right now, if I had a baby outside of my seven, I'm not so less of a man that I would neglect my own child. That's right. Uh, Amen. It may hurt, but I'm going to bang my baby to my wife and let her know, hey, look, this is what happened. Bada bing, bada bong. <laughs> this is what happened. <laughs> this is my son, or this is my daughter. Right. You know, I know we married, but hey. I went hanging and banging. <laughs> and this, this, it'll be hard. Yeah, it would be hard. Amen. I'd never push my child aside. No way. My child don't know who's his daddy. That's right. I got yeah. too much self-respect yeah. to have a child in this world. And I got to hide it around? No. Amen. 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 So you preachers, I'm not like you. No. I'm not hiding no children. No. Like it's the Underground Railroad. It's the Underground Railroad. <laughs> Handing this child to hell. How are you That's telling me? Right. You bunch of hypocrites. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's why they don't like me. <laughs> they don't like Touch me. everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah it'll be hard. I know mm -hmm. my wife would be upset. My children would be upset. Oh, yeah. But I would let my children know, hey, look, this is your other brother. 
This is your brother from another mother. <laughs> That's what it'll be. That's right. But they ain't got that to worry about. No. Wonderful. They ain't got that to worry about. Thank you. You that's out there prophesying. Oh, the Lord showed me he have a child somewhere in the Midwest. Somewhere. And all my children are right here. Yes. <laughs> that's right. You that's old right. pit buzzards. <laughs> Amen. There you go. Keep Amen. flying around like a dirty buzzard. Yeah. Do you hear me? Yes. Oh, they hate this thing, but this is all Bible here. It's all Bible. Hear what it says. Beware of false Look prophets. Look out. Amen. Beware. They say everything about me over social media. Mm. I am the most talked about negative mm. preacher on social media. Yeah. My Lord, my Lord. If I was like T.D. Jakes or Creflo Dollar or Benny Hinn, have you noticed? And they hardly nobody saying nothing about them. No. Nothing. Nope. But because I'm standing for something. Which is God's word. Yep. All the vultures. They're out. <laughs> They're out. They're out. Amen. Hear me good what he said. Beware of false prophets. Beware. Which come to you in sheep's clothing. They come dressed up looking godly. But inwardly, but inwardly they are raving wolves. And no good. No good. A raving wolf is vicious. Oh yeah. Yeah, tear you to pieces. What else? Ye shall know them by their fruits. I know you. You know them. By your fruit. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of, of thistles? Yes. Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. But a corrupt tree. You, you hear this? Amen. Good tree bringeth forth what? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. But a corrupt tree. But a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. Oh, we have good fruit here. Oh, yes. All in America and Canada, throughout Africa and Scotland and Italy and all around Germany, and Ireland right. and the South Pacific and Australia and New Zealand. And all, oh, we have good fruit good by fruit. the thousands. Amen. And these worms want to kill the fruit. <laughs> That's right. And they want, are they mad because I'm coming with Bible insecticide? That's right. That's right. I said, I'm coming with Bible and insecticide, spraying them. Spraying. <laughs> Amen. 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 Remember what saith the apostle. I can first Peter chapter 4 and verse 11. What is it? If any man speak. If any man talk. Let him speak as the oracles of God. In other words, let God use them. That's right. He stands between God and the people. That's right. Yeah. Let God speak through them. Amen. To bring you what the prophets have said, what the apostles have said, the lively oracles of God. Of God. Of God. Not the sayings of men. No. The lively oracles. That's right. Of God. God. Anybody come with prophecy and it's not of God? Mm hmm. It's going to fall to the ground. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. I don't care who's, he, who's his friend, who's her friend. Mm -hmm. Friends don't make your prophecy right. No. no. If I would have believed my false prophet, my children wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have no Sierra, no Brittany, no Persia. That's right. No Reds, no Minister Malcolm. <laughs> No Jordan, mm -hmm. no Aaron, none of them. None of them. If I would have listened to the preacher, I would never got married. Yeah. That's true. He said, let him select your wife. How are you going to let some looney tunes select your <laughs> wife? That's what he did. He said, if I select it, I select someone right for you. Mm. Until he told my second oldest brother, there was a girl he was talking to when he was younger. He told him, you should marry her. He asked, her, he asked him, why? You know what his reason was? She could sing. Mm. <laughs> my Lord, my Lord. So can a red robin. <laughs> but you're not going to marry a bird. No. <laughs> nice. 
My Lord, my Lord. I tell you, I came out of some stuff. <laughs> I believe the scripture talks about the women when they come out dancing from Shiloh. From Shiloh. So he made a parable. <laughs> he got all the sisters in the church. Yes, he did. And made them march. You remember that? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and made them march around. That's right. He told us, brothers, now, these women is from Shiloh. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Come on, Come on. Come on now. Yes, he did. I kid you not. Come on. Williams can bear witness. Amen. He said, these women is from Shiloh. And, all, and the sisters are marching around the trip. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. And he told all of us brothers, get up and pick yourself a wife. That's right. And some of the sisters was married. It was marching around. Marching around. <laughs> he said, get up. That's right. And he kept saying, get yourself a wife. That's right. <laughs> so all of us brothers, we got up. Oh my goodness. And I remember <clears throat> the sisters were marching around. Yeah. And there was Dottie marching. I mean, she was in the, wasn't in the church that long. I dodged through all of my sisters <laughs> like a running back. <laughs> I, I rolled off. <laughs> I grabbed her by the hand. When I grabbed her by the hand, the preacher got angry. He got mad and stopped the women from marching. He said, all of you from Shiloh, sit down. I grabbed Dottie by the hand. He got mad. I mean, when I say got mad, he got mad. <laughs> Went on the rampage. <laughs> Said, I hope you drop dead at the altar. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He said it open in the church. He said, the day you marry, I hope and pray you fall dead. That's right. At the altar. That's right. He's supposed to have been an apostle. <laughs> A holiness preacher. Amen. See, I came out of the thick darkness. Oh, yes. I went through something. Oh, yes. And because I went through something, it's a contributing factor. Amen. To why I am like I am. Amen. 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 Right. Don't, don't, don't think of me above what's written. That's right. I said, like the apostle, I'm a man like you. That's right. But I preach you should trust in the living God. That's it. Turn away from idols. Amen. Viewers, if any man speak, let him speak. Let him speak as, as the oracles, the oracles of, God. of God. If any man minister, if any man minister, let him do it as of the ability, as of the ability which God giveth. God have given. I'm not boasting. No, well, not in myself, but in God. That's right. God have given me, have blessed me with a great biblical ability. Oh yes. To minister. Every place in the world. Every place. God did it. I, I didn't do it. God did it. That's right. It's wonderful. Every place we go in the world. It's wonderful. I'm guaranteed results. Amen. I know you don't like it because many of you out there that are watching never saw nothing like this happen. No. Hundreds of people going down in water after repenting of their sins. That's right. Being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, receiving the Holy Ghost. I don't have to get different guests, preachers of so many different beliefs just to pack a church out. That's right. That's not my interest. No. My interest is everybody speak the same thing. Same thing. The brothers that minister, they testify. I tell them, don't you worry about it, you go minister. That's right. When people know that somebody's going to be there, from the truth of God, mm -hmm. they come ready to be baptized. Yes, they do. All you, all you got to do is ask. 
That's Anybody right. want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? And watch how many come up. That's, That's right. right. Because they're already watching the program. Yeah. That's they're right. already been convicted. And they're already ready. Ready. Yes. They're ready. Yes. Amen. They're already ready. Already ready. I didn't go to St. Louis that time because I was recovering from the stroke. I yeah. sent uh, Todd. Talk to Taj. He said, man, the people came ready. Uh, about, I believe it was about 162 went down the water in the name of Jesus Christ. People come ready. So if I'm not there, the brothers still, there's fish. Amen. They heard this gospel. Yes. And they come ready to obey it. That's yes. right. So you out there that's prophesying out of jealousy and hatred and anger, get over it. Get over it. God Almighty is truly in the truth of God. Amen. I wonder what's going to happen when this thing thunder from the main auditorium. It probably, probably make them go crazy. Yeah. Mm. Hallelujah. Mind God, thunder it shall. Mm. Louder than it ever was. Amen. Or right. right. God until we rock creation with it. Amen. Right. Amen. Yes. Give me Acts 38 waves. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right. Amen. You heard it. You heard it. You get ready to obey it now. That's right. This is what God ordered for everybody to do. Everybody. Everybody. Your mother, your brother, your husband, your wife, your children, every, your pastor. That's right. Amen. Regardless of what title he called himself, God says repent. Then Peter said unto them, repent. He's talking through the apostles. Amen. Repent. And be baptized every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ for. The remission of sins. To get your sins washed away. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's what puts you in the church. That's right. Amen. Don't have the Holy Ghost, you're not in the body, you're just among the body. Yes, That's right. it. Amen. It takes the Holy Ghost to put you in the church. Amen. Now, if you want to be right today, you want to be baptized on the Bible order, and be Bible right. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet if you want to be Bible right. <laughs> Anyone else? All right. My traveling committee at 3.30. What's that? Oh, yes. I understand that there's a baby that the father wants me to pray for the child. Are you here? Are you here? All right. You can bring the child forth. Let us all stand, please. After we pray for the child, Brother Williams will give the benediction. Come on, brother. Eternal, everlasting God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you to call on thine great and holy name. We thank you for this child that you allow the gift of life to bring into this world. We ask you to allow your blessings to be upon him. From the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Keep him in excellent health. That his mind and heart one day may grow towards heaven. Oh, Jesus. Mold him and make him to whatever you desire him to be. Get the total glory out of his life. Keep his body healed. Keep his body well and strong. 
that he may be a representative for your namesake. One day he may understand the words of righteousness. Go down in the water Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus Christ. And fill them with the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. We ask you to bless them to remember you, O oh God, while he's young. God, and protect him that he not get caught up in the things of the world. Bless his parents. Yes, that, he, that they may be examples before him. Yes, Crown him with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Yes, Let your blessing be upon him. Guide him all the days of his life. Yes, These blessings we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our God. Let every heart say amen. amen. Brother way to give us the benediction. Father God, we do come again in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord God, again for these service. We thank you, Lord God, for the word of the Lord that was taught in our hearing. We thank you for the man of God. Continue to give strength to his body, Lord God. Continue to stand by him and be with him. Bless every one of us that is here. Bless us not only to be hearers, but doers of thine word. Father God, we thank you for everything that you've been to us and for all that you've done for us thus far. We do pray and ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. <laughs>